This is just one of the fantastic cards you'll see at the Hillsborough Concourse Show this year. Sunday, July 16th, starting at 10 a.m. All right, so can you tell me your name? My name is Tom Benedetti, and this is my 1970 Torino GT. Wow. And you've done the restoration on this car yourself, you said, huh? All the restoration is done by me except for bodywork and paint. Everything else, putting it back together, finalizing it, all the meticulous little nooks and crannies have been all done by me. And how long have you had the car? Uh, since 2012. Bought right. it from the original owner. We bought it from Gary Ford in 1969. And uh, I purchased it from him. And you've entered this in a couple of car shows already. I've been already. in seven total. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to... Uh, Concourse on the Avenue in Monterey, my first show, 2015. I was so fortunate to take uh, second place in muscle car. My next show after that was an all Ford show, uh, Fairlane Club of America. I took uh, first in my class in that show, in best of show. I went to uh, Autorama in Sacramento. I took a third place in Autorama. Nice. Can you show us the uh, interior? Yes. So you said you bought it in 2012, is that right? Yes. And then you've spent... How long restoring it? 18 months. Wow. A year and a half on it. Really hard the last four months of the 18. And you said every nut and bolt and everything's been a part of everything here. is taken off fenders were off doors were off glass was out body work painted the car did not come with a factory tack i found a factory tack and had that place it's all original interior except for the rugs and the two front seats headliner everything's original great and you'll be showing this at the 2017 hillsborough concourse to yes. elegance yes July 16th. Do you know what class you'll be in? I think, uh, I, I, I can't remember what uh, Rich said the class was going to be. There was muscle car last year, but that might not happen this year. Okay. Can you pop the hood for us? Yes. This was the uh, Ford's third option engine. The first one was a six-cylinder with this car. The second option was a 302. The third option was a 351 Cleveland. And you had three 429s in it as options. Uh, this car did not come with a shaker, air cleaner, and hood. I purchased this from uh, a guy back east, and I, I wanted this, this look, so I changed that. Right. I see all these paper tags and stuff are still on the car. I mean, what those, is the reason for that? Those are reproductions, but that would be the way the car would come off the truck, saying that it was it had your antifreeze in it to use only Ford antifreeze. The warning on the brake system that you had disc brakes, that was pretty new on American cars. People didn't know how to drive with disc brakes and such. Your battery was... But it really uh, stopped when you put your foot to it. Yes. Your auto light battery was, was checked by a, a technician and such. Right, so the idea with a concourse is this is factory original. This as, is not a modified car. Right. It is as it came from the factory. So it has these pop-up headlights, as you can see. On this car, the headlights are covered when you're driving. That was kind of unusual for the time, right? Yes, this was uh, an option. Uh, uh, 3,003 people went for this option in, in, in this year. This year in 71. 71 was the same car. 
very similar, except a couple of uh, chrome strips, rocker panel strips are different. I mean, and this is down to the tires that would have come Period, correct on this tires, car. Wheels. They re originally, this car came, the GT came with the 14 by 7 steel rims, what they call dogfish hubcaps with the beauty ring. And your next step option was uh, the Magnum 500s with uh, your Goodyear, or the Firestone or Goodyear tires. Nice. And this car gets lots of attention everywhere it goes, you've mentioned. Quite a bit. It's really an unusual car. It's a pleasure driving it. Beautiful color, medium blue, medium you say? Blue. And you've gone down to restoring these license plates to better than prison quality. Yep. <laughs> We're not doing really the time. Good. Yeah. Amazing. I took the tail lights. The tail lights, the lens is viable, but it was very costly. And it was kind of faded. So I took all this apart. I 1200 sanded the plexiglass and I used plexiglass cleaner with a buffer. Mm -hmm. And I polished out the uh, the plexiglass and I refinished that myself and it came out as good as buying one. And it looks beautiful and it is original. Original. I would never have known. Like, this, this could be right out of the factory. This is what you look for right there. That little Ford the oval. Uh, That's what you... The right, newer ones don't have. The reproduction doesn't have that. Right. They're not allowed to if they're not made by Ford. Right. Nice. A beautiful car, fantastic job. We look forward to seeing how well it's going to do at the concourse. Come and see it. July 16th, 2017. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.